Kane, what a mutant he was made out to be. Bless you. My name is still Jack, and this is the amazing... Did you know that the characters have their old versions, just like any other project? And that can tell us a lot about what the show is about, what was planned, or maybe still being planned. Not necessarily some old sketches are cut content, maybe they're being worked on. But what the characters used to look like is something you can't help but look at. It's not just the appearance itself that differs, but also the gender. It's even interesting to delve into the history of this psychedelic world to finally find out what was planned. Where did the origins come from? Why do the characters look the way they do? There are also other sketches with unknown characters that we have not seen yet in the circus. And that makes it even more interesting. What are these old characters that have been cut out? Or just didn't get at least in the pilot? Well, let's start our old characters with Kane, what a mutant he was made out to be. Although some of the sketches are right on and original, but I'm more confused that he was portrayed as a regular mouth. Oosh, jaw with no eyes. It, or better yet, no eyes or mouth at all. Just a nose and ears. Maybe they thought it would be better to stick the eyes on top, but then they looked at it and realized it looked too creepy. So they took the eyes out completely. Then we get just a talking jaw in a suit. But apparently, the creators wanted to stick the eyes somewhere. Still, we have a cartoon, although psychedelic, but I would not call it a horror. At least not yet. And it seems that the creators did not really want to make him a villain. He should look somehow more friendly. Friendly, and yet very strange. A psychedelic character for a psychedelic cartoon. Uh, what could be better than Jaws in a suit and a hat? And I guess that's when they came up with the idea of putting the eyes in the mouth and making them visible all the time in Jaws. You gotta admit, our old Kane looks pretty creepy. I'm not even talking about that. I mean, I know Kane can do all sorts of things, but what does a third eye have to do with it? It's good that they went with the current version. And by the way, Kane himself was inspired by a character in a 1968 story. I have no mouth, but I must scream. There was this main villain, the AM supercomputer, who wipes out all of humanity, but leaves five survivors. AM stands for Allied Master Computer. The five survivors were tortured, and the AM supercomputer made up all sorts of tortures for their amusement. I've seen this somewhere before. And Kane's definitely not the villain? Just because he's just an artificial intelligence doesn't make him a soulless bastard. It probably makes it worse. And what about our main character, Pomni, who can't remember her own name, as well as all the other characters? Well, in general, the concept of Pomni looks the same as the real Pomni. Well, in fact, it's no different. Although that smiley face looks very suspicious. Yes! In the cartoon, Pomni was smiling too, and this smiley can be considered as a nervous smile although it looks more crazy like this one. And here she's happy for some reason. Or maybe it seems so to me. And here they just wanted to draw a crazy smile and then decide to go to this drawing. And they have succeeded. Anyway, Pomni was Pomni and she's still Pomni. Oh yeah, that's what she looks like without the cap. That's the hairstyle. Overall, her personality hasn't changed. The way she was conceived, the way she was made, the only thing we can see in these concepts are beautiful drawings and Pomni without a cap. Shock content. Next up is Jax. He's a little more interesting. Kind of. Although, if you look at some of the concepts, I would not say that everything is unchanged. After all, Jax, we plan to have a diverse or multiple faces. Which one of these faces was going to be more conical? Probably black. We'd have a black stone or rabbit or worse, a one-eyed Jax. Or maybe even he could have been a girl. Otherwise, I don't know what the eyelashes are for. That would make her name Jacksonia. That would probably be the most annoying girl on the show. Because Jax already acts like a halfwit. And if he was female, he'd be hysterical. Speaking of girls, Ragatha. And how we used to have Ragatha pretty much cripes. Especially, I understand the first sketches. Yeah, a real voodoo doll. Or you could put one of these in horror movies. Annabelle's Curse. I don't know, I can't think of a more appropriate horror doll. And here she's resting a little bit, and her pose reminds me of something I think I saw on Family Guy. Yeah, ow, ow, yeah, go. It's the same pose. Well, what did our old Kinger look like? Yes, in general, the same. Ordinary chess figure of the king in royal clothes. 
and also he should have a cannon scepter, but it was removed. Perhaps for fun, it will return. So, the scepter is not really important. The main thing is the appearance, and his very unconventional name, which fits very well. What do you call a chess piece in the shape of a king? Probably Kinger, or something like that. That's what our old Kinger looked like. In front of you is the most stable and balanced person. Royalty, after all. Cold and calculating, a real leader. What about Zubal? Oh, well, there's two versions. I guess the original and the final one. Zubal herself as a character is made up of some obscure figures. That's the whole idea. Zubal is a fucking thing. There's nothing wrong with it. But the first version is, just mother my woman, father my man. I understand this box, which is the body, symbolizes the devil from the snuff box or box whatever. And this is the moment when an obscure character is made even more obscure and it's made him better. I wouldn't even stop at Gangle. Well, no offense, but I'll show her too. There are also sketches of the bubble. Kane's henchman, who constantly fawns over him, sucking up to him and sometimes comically interrupting Kane himself. He's also a cook, and Kofmo is the most interesting. And why did they just cut him out of the pilot? He's abstract in the first episode, but he's a pretty mysterious character. Maybe his disappearance and his abstract gives him more mystery. But not like this, Art. What a baby. He sure looks cool, but agrees still. His last officially recognized version looks much better and more appropriate for this circus. And it's a good thing they settled on this version. Although I don't deny that the original looks cool, but it's some kid in yellow pajamas. If he was shown separately from the show, I'd say he's the main villain. And we all know Kavmo as the good-natured clown. And I promise to show some new characters. Some you've already seen. They're our main characters. And some are new, like these strange faces here. I don't think these Trinity were separate characters. It's probably just a regular mask. And this is just a talking sock, I mean, a sock puppet. Well, that's a mask too. And all of them were clearly used by Kane, especially the sock, putting it on his hand and talking to it. And what is that black face with two eyes? It's not hard to guess, it's abstracted. In old concepts, you can see this art along with the others and everything falls into place at once. Though I'm guessing from the color and the eyes. Who are these guys? Some long frog and an obscure butterfly? I assume they're background characters. Like they're residents of the digital circus grounds. Maybe we will see them in the next episodes. But obviously, not as separate characters. Most likely they are just regular animals in the digital circus. Well, which old versions did you like best? Do you think they should have been added to the show? Especially the old characters that weren't there. And which versions did you like best, old or new? And which character? Write your opinion in the comments. Well, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell to not miss new videos. Like the video, share it with your friends and on your page, and don't forget to leave any comment under this video. See you later.